Well, hello there. How are you all doing today? Drams on deck. And today, I wanted something new. Actually, right now, if you can see, I'm sipping on this right here. If you don't know, this is hypnotic. Cannot believe I had to take it back to the college days. Hypnotic. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me, y'all. I just wanted to take it back today. I had a taste for something sweet and smoky. And I just said, you know what? Damn, I just... Let me just go ahead and sip on something. And because I'm sipping sweet, I actually kind of will switch it to the smoky tip. So I just, you know, I want some on the smoke tip. I've been doing some rearranging around here. And I just, you know, I had to reorganize in my shelf. And I got some new stuff on deck and just kind of just wanted to mix it up a little bit if I can. Just mix it up a little bit. And I want some smoky and bam, scanning. I see it. And bam, what we got? Well, let's just do this right here. This Ooga Doll by Art Bag. Yes, sir. I call it the Oogie. Oogie Doll 54% alcohol by Arbeg. Here's the box. Pretty simple. Level 360. Has little specs on what's going on with the, the craftsmanship of the Arbeg, how they craft the spirit. But this Oogie Doll it's, uh, very, it has a nice smoky, bacon, meaty taste to it, but we're going to get to the meat and the potatoes and the whole uh, specs of what this bottle does and what it smells like, what it tastes like. We're going to score it. We're going to get all up in it. Yes, we are. Take a journey with me. Dram's on deck. Ooga Doll by Arbeg. Let's go. What's up, baby? We back at it again. Another hot review for you. Dram's on deck. Today... Today we got a nice one. Today we got a nice, sweet and smoky scotch hitter. Today, wow, we got the art bag Ooga Doll in the building. I like to call him the Oogie, AKA. So if you hear me say Oogie, I'm talking about the Ooga Doll. That's just my little nickname. Sometimes I have a little nickname for certain things, a pet name, you know. But anyway, wow, <laughs> you see it, you see it. Our bag Ooga Doll. Now this has a, comes in a green tint bottle too. So if you are a red breast uh, fan, uh, same color as a red breast bottle, same color as the Jameson bottle. Dark green Ooga Doll. This is uh, like I said, bottle at fifty four point two percent. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh huh. Here's the little box that it comes with. Ooga Doll by Our Bag. Pretty simple. Pretty simple box. Has a little specs on it, etc. etc. So, and also, here's the color on this bad boy. This is a light uh color right here, sort of like I would say a more the lighter, lighter amber, light brown. I don't, it's not a statement by the way. So, this one right here is what we call sweet and smoky. I actually love, uh, I love all whiskey, but I love scotch in particular. So this one here is peated, uh, our bag. They have a lot of, I mean, our bag pumps out so many different expressions, but this is probably the, the upper echelon of the core range. Obviously, if you are our bag fan, you're familiar with the black and the, um, the 19 year and the uh, supernova and all those different ones. So this in the core range, you have the core reckoning, you have this one, you have the NO and the 10 year. So this is kind of a higher upper echelon of that. It's cash strength, uh, like I said, 54%, uh, a sweetie and peaty, I call it. This one is aged in bourbon and sherry oak cast and is also peated. So non age statement. This one ran me about around 65 bucks. Um, I got this particular bottle roughly around uh, about four months ago. I got, yeah, around four months ago I got it. 65 bucks from uh, one of my local stores. Um, so it's not gonna break the bank. It's not necessarily hard to find. And you know, you're gonna get a very quality whiskey that we're gonna break down very soon and get into the notes. But uh, but like I said, if you never had a, uh, ooh, if you ever, ever had a Spectrum or Ooga Dog before or, be, or our bag before, if you like Sweet and Pete, I definitely think you should like this one. Um, that being said, you see the color one more time. Very nice, light caramel. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Let's jump on his nose and let's see what we got. Whew. There's a lot going on right here off the top. 
I kid you not, this smells like some fresh bacon. Like It smells like a brother been scrambling uh, 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 some eggs and I got some bacon and some toast. I kid you not, it smells like fresh bacon and, and like fresh cooked bacon. And I love bacon. You, you might have noticed, but I, I mean, obviously I love, you know, different spirits, but bacon, peanut butter, and cheese on the food tip is one of my favorite weaknesses. I love cheesy things, spaghetti, sandwiches, grits. I love cheese. I love bacon. You could damn near put bacon on anything. And yeah, it, it just smells very nice. Like raft, if you ever, if you do do nightlife or if you've been dancing and hanging out at night, if there's a food truck right outside the restaurant or the club or something or more like club, you got, you know, you get a nice fresh, uh, 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 like a nice bacon, egg and cheese. That's what it smells like. Fresh cooked bacon. Very meaty, spicy, like a sweetened peat. So you get, obviously it has been Asian and um, as I said previously, sherry. You can pick up the sweetness of the sherry on the nose with that bacon. So you get that sweet, that bacon, and that peat. And I kid you not, the balance on the nose is just wow. It's making me hungry. And I already had dinner. I'm about to go to bed pretty soon. Probably next within the next hour and a half. And this thing making me hungry. And that's saying a lot. I'm not even joking, y'all. And I'm not a necessarily the most big, huge nose guy. I know a lot of people like to do the nose. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a huge nose guy, but this right here is making me hungry, and I'm enjoying the nose. I, I could sit there and nose this for a minute, and it's going to make me hungry. Wow. Yeah, bacon, spice, sweetness, peat, lovely, great nose. Let's dive on this palette, see what we've got right here. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Okay. I do a little shimmy right there. Woo! Knock that little fifty-four percent right up off in the system. Right, right now. First sip opens me up. Second sip is I'm gonna saturate the powder. So I like to do them back to back. I'm gonna take the first sip. I just got my palate tingling. I got my little gland taste buds going. Once once it's got it open and, and tingling, that's when I drop another sip on it and just saturate that whole thing while it's wide open. Let's go. I'm in my little window. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. mm. This one right here. It's a sweetened peat. So the peat is very prevalent, but it's diced. So you get the campfire ash. You get the campfire ash. If you ever look at some of my other reviews, how I say that the Octomore, in particular 10.3, is more mesquite and less ash. This is more ash than mesquite, but it's still good though. Because I think for me, I like mesquite over the ash peat. However, with the sweetness from the uh, the bourbon on the sherry, it kind of it covers it up and it kind of marries it very well, and it's very balanced. So this is a good one right here, and almost like I, I almost taste the bacon or the ham on the tongue. Like to me, it has a meaty flesh aftertaste, and it's very pleasant. So just imagine if you had like a, a bacon, ham, and a cheese sandwich. How you, how they, if you eat a piece of fresh cooked bacon, fresh and crispy off the grill, two minutes later after you eat the bacon and you you know it's you already got, you know it's went down your system, that that after taste that's when I pick up a, a hint of on my palate, and I love that. Like I said, I love it. It just tastes like it has a meaty, grown man taste. Like I said, nice campfire ash. You get a little bit here of that sherry. It's it's just it's nice, yo. It's sweet and peat. It's very good. I really enjoy it. As you saw as I was sipping, I actually poured a little bit of water. 
for review, uh, so review purposes, I'm gonna take uh, a little bit of water in there and give you my uh, my opinion, water and without water. Um, but typically, when I'm just sipping by myself, I don't really add water that much, but I just kind of just want to do it just to, so for people who might want to add water, see if it alternates in any way. Because some people don't like the higher proof. If that's the case, if, if you water it a little bit, just want to give you an idea of what it may, if it may change in any way, shape, or form. So, but like I said, this is a solid dram. I like it, man. Like, a, you know, I really enjoy it. Like I said, you're going to get on the taste, but I pick up the, the bacon. I pick up campfire ash. I pick up sweet sherry, oak. That smoke on there, it is nice, balanced. I love it from front to end. It's a nice, balanced whiskey. It really is. And it's only 65 bucks, so it's not going to break the bank. You don't have to hunt it down. You don't have to call a store and be like, hey, do you got this one? Is it drop? You know what I'm saying? It's not like a special release. Uh, uh, you know, they have certain limited releases by our bag. So that's not one of those limited releases. So you should be able to find this anytime at any major store for 65 bucks ballpark. So... I think for for the product that it is, it's, it's definitely, definitely fits the bill because you're getting quality without having to overpay for it. That's my opinion. That being said, I'm going to nose it and taste it with a little bit of water. Keep in mind, I has less liquor in the bottle and I add a little water, so it's not as smoky as it was originally, but it smells very similar. With slightly more of the sherry influence on the nose. Let's take this last sip. Let's go pound. So, for me, with a little bit of water, I pick up a little bit more on the finish, a little more of the campfire ash. So, I pick up less of the meaty taste, a little bit more of the campfire and peat ash with a little bit of water. And as it opened up a little bit more, more air time too. But still, by and large, I like it better without water than with water. But that's just me. You may feel differently. I, if my opinion, if you ever, if you never had this, try it both with water and without water. See which works best for your palate, because your palate may tell you something different. So, um, that being said, this is a solid dram. Um, this is sweet and peat. I, I call it sweet peat and meat, because I said that bacon ham is right all up in the, right up here. I can still taste it all up in the hill, all up in here. I can still taste that bacon. Like I said, brother want to get me a bacon and egg sandwich right now. It's too late for that, all right? So I'm, I'm going to leave that alone, but I got a taste for it. It's a meaty taste. So you get the meat, the sweet from the bourbon and the cherry, and you get that peat. Sweet peat and meat. I mean, what's, I mean do you need anything more? I, I mean, that, that nose is the bomb. And I'm not a nose guy. So nose is good. The palate is almost similar. Like I said, you get campfire ash. Uh, a little bit of sweetness. Um, you get that that the spice. You get that meaty taste. Nice meaty bacon, ham, almost kind of consistency. And then campfire ash. It just lingers, man. It, it's a very very good dram, man. You get a little bit almost. I feel like a little salt too, like a little briny taste on the back end. So for me, it's it, it's a, it's a well it's a well rounded balanced dram. I enjoy it. So if you have not had it, um, and you're into Sweet and Peters, I think this is definitely a good one to try if you never had a Sweet and Peter. So if you like, a, for example, a Highland Park 12, I think this is a better version of that because it's higher proof. Um, you get more influence of the uh, sherry and the in the peat, but also the meat factor. You know, um, this is very good, man. It's, don't sleep on this. If you haven't had the, keep in mind, if you are a casual Scotch drinker, you may see Art Bag, you may not have one or two. But those who are true Art Bag fans are familiar with Uga Dog. So I'm not talking about the, the true Art Bag fans. You already know what time it is. I'm the, the preaching of the choir, per se. 
So for those who may not have had our bank before, you may look at it and say, damn, they have like, you know, 10, 15 different ones. Where do I start? Which one should I get? So if you like the Sweden Peters, I think the Uga doll for the price point and the availability, and not to mention the price, I, I mean, not the price, but as I was, the, the taste, I just, uh, the taste buds and the, the palate I just described to you. If that is your profile, if you like sweet peat and meat, I think you'll enjoy this. I definitely do. It's not a limited release. It's not hard to find. It's not going to break the bank. It's only 65 bucks. I think you'll enjoy this. So you can even find this probably at a certain uh, restaurants. Um, probably not a, not at a, a, a Chili's or Applebee's, but something maybe slightly more than that. Perhaps Out, Outback or Red Lobster or wherever you may live in your different states. So um, you may find at a de decent restaurant, even if not, um, like I said, you know, 65 bucks, you know, it's not, it's, not, it's a decent price. I, I, well, actually a good price, I think, for what the product uh, gives. So try it out if you, if you haven't already. I think for me, one to 10, 10 being the best for me, Drams on deck, rating the Ooga doll, you know, so AKA the Oogie by the Arden bag, one to 10. Um, I give it a solid eight and a half, man, 8.5. I think this gets busy. It, it gives me everything I need. So if you, a person who enjoys, you, I'm a foodie. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you can't tell. I, I love food too. I mean, I have several several passions. I'm not going to get into all of them. I like shoes. I like traveling. I like spirits, um, clothes, etc. You know, uh, thick women. But we're, we're not going to get into all that. But what I will say this, when it comes to this, it has a nice, thick, meaty, peaty taste to it with sweetness too. And for me, I love the, Certain spirits, it enhances the food factor. Not all, but some. And this, to, for me, has a food factor in the nose and in the taste. I just pick up bacon and ham, along with the sweet and the peat. So, to me, that's not a normal um, character that I pick up on every spirit. But to me, you know, certain ones has a has a meaty taste to it, and this one is is one for me has a meaty taste to it. The bacon or the ham, either or. So I love that the fact that it lingers. So I get almost get the, the best of both worlds. I'm getting the 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 experience of the food factor, but I'm also adding to that the uh, beverage factor and the the spirit factor with all like I said the wine and sherry and bourbon and 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 the, and the peat it just to me it it's all about balance certain things balance better than others to me this is a very balanced whiskey enjoyable affordable available and I think you should try it so 8.5 all day long it's solid 8.5 I'm almost leaning towards a nine or uh but I'm I'm a I'm gonna give it an 8.5 um, you know, I, I really enjoy this, man. This, this thing is in there. It's hitting. So if you haven't tried it, do yourself a favor and try it if you're into that particular flavor type. If you're into that particular wheelhouse, I think you will. If you like sweet and peats, if you never tried it, I think you will not go wrong with this, in my opinion. Especially the price factor, availability. I think all around, it's, it's just a good thing. And so I'm going to be honest with you. So 8.5. Five is a taste, but if I'm gonna factor in the availability and the price. I have to bump it up to a nine. So I'm gonna give it an extra half a point because it's easy to find and it's not gonna break the bank. So the fact that so the the flip side of that is when sometimes I, you may have a great a good dram or a great dram that's overpriced. And I knock it down because of the, that is now available and is overpriced. The opposite for me is that. When it is available and it is priced, I, I have to show it the same amount of love that I that I take away from when it's not available. So because of that factor, I'm going to give it a nine overall. So if I'm only going to judge on taste, it's eight point five. But when you factor in the price and availability, it's a, it's a solid nine. The whole package, price, availability, taste, it's a solid nine because of that. So I got to show it some love. It's a it's a solid nine for me. I love it. It's a good dram. If you haven't tried it, try it. Um, also, if you haven't already, uh, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Likes and subscribes are for free. I appreciate your time. Um, hopefully, you got something out of this. If you never had it, and hopefully, these reviews can help you kind of assess if this is something that you might want to buy or not to buy. 
Either way, maybe the, the flavors and profile that I broke down for you don't quite fit your wheelhouse, and that's okay. If it doesn't, that's fine. Don't get it. At least I'll save you $65 instead of you buying it for $65. So whether you buy it and like it or you, you read it or you hear the review and you don't like it and you don't buy it, either way, it's a win-win because you got something out of it. That being said, please check the description box. I will drop the link for my Instagram page. I have a Dramas of Deck Instagram page. Please check out my, my bottles, the upcoming reviews I got going on. Till then, I appreciate your time, your love, and support. Signing off. Drams on deck, yes, sir.